Hello Aquarius. It's time for your beginning to mid-August reading of this current year. Hada. Okay. Was one of these flipped over? I'm pretty sure it was. I'll find out. Yeah. Queen of Wands was flipped. I didn't even see that. Huh. I feel like you guys are looking good and feeling good. Or at least trying to. Or someone's trying to do that to you. One of the two. Oh sir, look at you rub that door. Yes. And the butts me. Yes. Sniff it. Sniff it. Yes. Yes. That's my good little man. That's my good boys. Now you're sniffing my feet. Did you get stuck? Oh, thanks. Yes. Oh, look at you. I'm sorry, I'm petting my fat man. Yeah. Looks like the man, too. Look at you, Rob. Yes. You're being exceptionally sweet today. Yes, love you too. Okay. Anyway, this is for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. So, check the charts. If it resonates with you, good deal. If not, don't worry about it. It's just a card game. It doesn't work if you don't believe in it, right? So, Aquarius, what do we have for you? We got... You're trying to walk away from something. Um, I want something to die in the wants and wishes. Could be Scorpio, right? You're ready to end things so something new can begin. Fortunately, your fears and rejections are all laced in a bunch of insecurities. It might lead to your death. Not... Well, yeah, because Scorpio's right there. That's the death card. But you know what I mean. Um, someone's really got you insecure right now. The situation, there, the cycle is ending, but it's ending all fuckied up. Bad karma somewhere. Um, the obstacle and challenge coming against you, Queen of Wands. But she's reversed this time. Um, she wants what she wants, and she wants it now. You're trying to let go of this person, and they're keeping you in a position of insecurity. Because they're all dickish and shit, right? Then we got the King of Wands as the catalyst as well as the final result. Okay. You might be the Queen of Wands, and this is your counterpart. Either way, both of y'all don't like each other right now. Got your backs turned to each other. Uh, someone might want to make an offer to the Magician in order to get something started. Hmm. I'm telling everyone about him. The magician as a way. I made a video about that motherfucker. Let's see. The ending theme. Bad judgment. Bad idea. Right? Something's not being brought back from the dead. Well, you want things to die anyway. So that makes sense. Really? Dude. Dude. Okay, well. Why must you do such horrible things? Hmm? You're being very, very sweet today, sir. I love my fat man. I'm gonna cry when he dies, though. He's been my dude forever. Hmm. So let's see. Yeah, you're trying to end things, Aquarius, and this dude's just not letting you end it. And they're the counterparts here, so... Yeah, you, you're you leaving because, like, you don't even give a shit if they come back and love you. You're just like, nah, man. Nah. I'm over it. The situation here where your cycle's ending all funky... Um, you just don't have any passion to move towards this. You, it's like you don't want to be this person's counterpart anymore. Like, it's too draining. Uh, your wants and wishes right here after the situation. You want to kill this shit. You're just ready to bring something else into the world, right? And you really don't even want this person trying to find you. Like, you're in a, like, like, what was it? Last time I said you guys were trying to get out of the 20-story window. 
Then it went to the 30 story window. Now I think you guys are just trying to jump off the roof to get away from this guy. Whoever it is. <laughs> like, your obstacle and challenge is like, you are determined. If you're the queen of wands to this counterpart person right here, you're out of patience. You want what you want. You want it now. You are in a complete bitch mode and you just want your security back. That's your challenge right now. Whereas with your fears and rejections, is like all the insecurities flaring up and causing you to go into the wrong direction in order to get like that Amazon package. Not an R. Kelly package, but an Amazon package. Like you're really insecure about, um, like what'll be delivered to you? Like you're afraid of what this dude's gonna bring your way. Like, he makes you really... Like, I don't like this guy. He makes you really insecure. Hmm. I don't know if I like them either. It's just like, they, they just bring shit to you. And it's annoying. Let's see. Yeah, it's like... Look at this. It's like you're trying to control your fate. You escaped this dude just so you can get your own reign. King of Wands, once again. This time he's upright. Like, you're trying to get away from this dude who's been trying to control you. You're trying to make your own fate. Escape from this guy. He's probably a magician, too. He or she, anyway. Whoever it is. King of Wands, the catalyst as well as the ending. What'll bring this shit full circle in this cycle? This dude's a pipe dreamer. Just totally like dream weaver. Weaving me a nightmare, you know, like there's like there's something about this guy who's just like he lives in his own little world. You know? You got two for the ending theme, Aquarius. You are literally trying to escape a relationship of some sort. You just don't have the right, and you're like, you either don't have the right idea about how to go about it, or you're definitely in the mode of like just not resurrecting any of this shit because you're done. It makes you feel trapped, and yeah, I, I can relate to that, like. My Aquarius moon would have me, like, jumping off a roof if, like, someone was trying to trap me, too. Like, mmm. It's one thing I know about you guys, like, freedom is your thing, and if someone constricts you, you will lose your shit immediately. Uh, oops. Yeah, like, if there is communication, it's just that you want to replace one thing for another. You want to replace this relationship with your freedom right now. Because it leaves you completely drained. Yeah. You guys are ready to fucking go. Like, it's too much for you. You guys should listen to, like, The Klansmen by, like, Iron Maiden. You guys would like that song, I think. I'll have to link it in your video. But anyway, yeah. And you... <laughs> Okay, maybe you did jump off the roof of the building, but you get out of it. So that's a plus. It just took you a while to actually see how far you had to come. And here are the two dogs from like um, the moon right here. They're sitting there waiting for you to look at them and understand that they have the secrets that you're needing in order to get out of this <laughs> shit. So very, very fortunate for you guys, right? Right. So Aquarius, actually, Let's see what you use after you discover it. Like, what does the Hermit discover? That someone's an unfaithful spouse? Or an overbearing mother? Someone who isn't considerate? Um, Queen of Pentacles Reverse. Could be Earth Sign. Doesn't have to be, but that's like... It's stably, this person is not a, 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 not a chill person at all. In fact, they're, they're probably a person who is probably way more controlling than what you realize. And that's why you're feeling like a zombie in the swamp chasing after something that you feel like you can't get to. Be very careful, Aquarius, because I feel like this person is just not going to let you go unless, you know, 
you do something really crazy or drastic, which I really don't want you to do, because, you know, the judgment's reversed right here, right? But that's the reading I got for you guys for the beginning to the middle of August. So thanks for watching this video. If you want a personal reading, all the information's in the description box below. Uh, you can like, share, subscribe if you want to. No pressure, of course. It's all up to you, really. You guys heard to take it easy. Please don't jump off a roof. Even though I think you guys would do that, don't do it. Because you don't... Uh, there are high buildings, right? Just be careful, okay? See you guys later. Bye.